Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna give you guys my three most underrated tips here for Fortnite season 9 I'm gonna be talking about three specific things in this video And I'm gonna go into detail on every single one and exactly why I think they're underrated and exactly why you guys need to be using these tips Every single game and before we get into the video. I have a weekly v buck giveaway I'm gonna be giving away v bucks every single Friday and if you guys want a chance to win some free v bucks all you guys need to do is to drop a like on this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and as well subscribe to my second channel i post a ton of really good content on there so make sure you guys do subscribe turn on my post notifications and as well leave a comment down below of your xbox gamer tag your psn gamer tag or epic account and if you guys would like to support me as a creator in the item shop all you have to do is go over to the item shop go into the bottom right hand corner support a creator and type in my code my code is young humor type it in and you guys will have me support it as a creator and all right guys let's get to the video all right, so in this video, I'm going to go into three most underrated tips I think are in Fortnite Season 9. So my first tip that I'm going to be talking about in this video, and this has to do with an editing tip. And the reason why I think this is underrated is because it's really just not used enough. And I think this really important concept to get down and also to use every single game. I think this can really help you guys out a ton. And this has to do when you're boxed up and when you're boxed up and you have a ramp inside you are kind of limited on the options you can do because if you're getting shot from multiple angles you kind of do have to make a play and most of the time as long as i can i'm going to edit out the top and go for high ground but there is going to be times where i want to go for shots on the players on the side and when you're going to edit off the side there's going to be two different ways to do it you can edit the uh, upper top three squares or you can edit the top three squares across so there's two different ways to go about it and i'm going to show you guys both of them and exactly why you should use one over the other so like i said you're in a box you want to get out the best thing you can do is go from the three uh, across on top and there's going to be a two main reasons exactly why you'd want to do this and opposed to the other one and the first reason is pretty simple it's way easier to close because all you have to do is just pull uh, back out your edit hit reset and then hit confirm i guess if you guys are on keyboard and mouse i think a lot of you guys might have scroll wheel as your reset you just scroll it up twice super easy to do but if you edit the top three squares in the corner what's going to happen is you're going to have to pull out your map again and then go from edit that way you can't just edit it right away you have to pull out your build and then go for the edit so it does cause a little bit more of a hassle and it's a little bit more difficult and a lot of times if you're getting shot up from that side it's just something that's super annoying to deal with and sometimes you're going to miss the close edit and you're going to lose a lot of hp and sometimes even die so that's the last thing you'd probably want to do and I'm not saying this is something you'd never want to do, because there is going to be some situations in which you'd want to edit like that, but I would say 90% of the time you, you want to edit off the top three squares. Also, another super important reason why you want to do this as well is because you can also use this as cover, so maybe if you want to go for a shot at another player, maybe they hide behind the wall, maybe they get from an angle you can't shoot them at, or you just want to form a little bit of cover, try to get a little bit of head glitch going, so it's a lot more difficult for the other player to shoot you, that would be a, another really good option, so first of all, it's way easier to reset, and second of all, you can use it as cover and take less damage, and the other one, you have no cover at all, it's harder to reset, so I think 90% of the time you want to be editing like that, it's just super helpful and super underrated i see a lot of players who don't go for it so that's what i'd recommend doing every single time it's worked out very well and i've been able to use it to my advantage every single game and i've just been able to dominate using it so i would highly recommend using the editing technique if you guys don't already use it so the second tip I'm going to be talking in this video is also going to be a building tip as well. And I think this is very underused and also very, very important. And I think everyone should be using this building tip if they want to be very successful winning build fights. And so that's going to be using the floor and pyramid. And I know a lot of people when they go for uh, plays on other players or only go for edits, they usually only go for the floor. And when they only go for the floor, it's super easy to counter. Everyone just throws up a pyramid. There's a lot of different things to go about this and it's not just a clear cut and dry as it may sound. So it comes into the situation where somebody else is going to be ramping up or something like that and you're above on high ground and you want to go for an edit play on them or just cut them off and just have advantage. So a lot of people like I said are going to be going for the floor play because it's super easy to edit they can go for a shot right away. But the only counter and the only really bad thing about this is with someone who's you no know, decently good at the game is going to throw up a cone and then ramp up the other way. Super easy to counter and a lot of people do it. It's not going to be very effective just placing the floor unless you're going against a noob and in that case it's going to be super easy just go for the floor. But in the vast majority of times you want to go for a pyramid and floor edit. Now this can be a little bit tricky to get down the timing and you know 
work on editing this very fast at the exact same time because learning how to go from just editing one to editing two very fast and also closing both the edits can be a little bit difficult at first but trust me it definitely is worth it and you're gonna see a lot better results doing this and also another way of going about it is editing both the top squares so and the reason you'd want to do this is because it gives you a little bit more uh, room to go for an edit because once you actually place two of them and you edit the top two squares on both of them it allows you to get a little bit more room where you can see the player better and also in my opinion i think it's a little bit easier to close the edit so editing the two squares can also be very very effective as well and so another thing i like to do as well is in someone in the exact same situation a lot of times they're either going to come off the right side or they're going to come off the left left side and it can be very hard to predict so what i usually do is i place the floor and pyramid on both sides so no matter which way they jump i try to predict it and immediately go for the shot and of exactly what i'm talking about i have a perfect example of exactly that I predicted which way the other player was gonna go I cut him off and then I was able to get for a really easy shot so here it is I'm ramping up I'm placing cones and floor I know the player was gonna come from this angle right before he even came out but both of them edited them and then I also went for the shot so a really good way to practice is as you're ramping up when you're placing the floor and uh, pyramid you want to make sure when you're going for the edit that you're not just editing uh, one of the squares you want to make sure that you're editing the top two squares on both of them and the reason being it gets you in the habit of being able to do that which can definitely help you out because it gives you a lot more room to go for the shots and it's also easier to close and if you're doing this and you ever really wanted to it does break the structure because if you only edit the uh, top one square on both of them it's still the structure is still there because it doesn't fully break off but you edit two of them and it does and moving into the last tip i have in this video and this is going to be a little bit more of a game sense and this is something that you always want to keep in mind every single time you're approaching gunfights. And honestly, it's probably one of the first things that you want to think about when you're actually going into the gunfight. And for a lot of reasons. And the one thing that you want to do almost every single time if possible is starting from high ground. Because I see a lot of times, you know, a lot of tutorials talking about best ways to go for high grounds, high ground retakes, and different things like that. But I think the best way to, just to go about it in the first place is try to starting off the gunfight from high ground in the first place. And that's exactly what I did here. So instead of trying to land on the player or land from a low ground or on the same level, I went ahead and I landed on top of that hill. And from the hill, I can make a really good play. I continue to uh, continuously keep high ground and I can make a very good play from it. And always keeping this in mind and, you know, on bad players it's going to work, but especially on good players and especially those average players to above average players who are going to be trying to ramp up. Because if you're already start, uh, starting from a high ground position, you're going to have those players ramp up, which is going to give you total advantage to get uh, any, towards any type of shot you want to get on them. And since you're on high ground, unless you jump down, it's going to be very easy to maintain it. So there's a lot of reasons in which you'd already want to start from high ground. And if you needed to, using a launch pad like here I talked about in a few, uh, little bit ago, probably like a month ago, I talked about using launch pads to go for high ground. And it's exactly what I did. And I'm going to get high ground very quickly. And as soon as I got high ground, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to give it up for any reason. And even if I do go for an edit play, and that's the one mistake I see a lot of people do when they go for edit plays, they end up giving up their positioning. And I can make a full video on that and exactly why it's important and the common mistakes I see about it. But really, you always want to keep your high ground no matter what. Even if it means going for an edit play, going for a shot. There's not going to be too many situations in which it'd be better off to give high ground unless you're hitting for a lot of damage. But just always remembering to start the fight off every single time from a high ground position. This is going to allow you to have the best possible outcome in that fight. Because the vast majority of the times you're going against players in public matches and arena, people play a lot slower. But in public matches, people are going to be trying to ramp up on you. And especially these better than average players, they're going to be trying to ramp up every single time. They're not going to just allow you to sit on that high ground. So they're going to ramp up and when they're ramping up, it's going to allow you to get a ton and ton of easy tags. It's going to be very simple to get a kill on them. And it's going to do a lot of damage and keep high ground at the exact same time. And that just saves you the trouble of burning through a ton of mats. Because when you burn through a ton of mats, it's just going to be worse overall because that means the other players are going to be burning through mats. Which means after the fight, there's not going to be as many total mats left over. 
and just a lot more time and energy in that fight when really it's not needed if you would just start from high ground it would have been a lot easier so that would be my third tip in this video that i would highly recommend doing i think this is probably one of the most important tips you can learn and definitely one of the most important tips in this video and with that being said that's wrap up for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys liked it and if you guys could make sure you guys drop a like on this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on my notifications so you're notified for every single new video and all right guys i'll see you next video